Hey everyone out there, I'm um, going to show you some miniature knives today, my miniature knife collection. Um, Alright, start off with uh, these ones right here. They're from, uh, this one is from uh, Toledo, Spain. They're like little like souvenir, um, I call them uh, letter openers, but I've had, I think some other people tell me that they are used for like skewers, I guess, for like meat. I don't know if that's 100% true, but yeah, I call them letter openers. There's that one. It's kind of like a uh, designed off of like a classical, I guess, like sword. And then here's another one. I think this is like designed off of a claymore I'm not sure exactly I think that's what it's called this one's made in Japan pretty cool but yeah I call them letter openers other people I don't know I guess they have different things they say that they're for but I say they're letter openers so but this one's also really cool this is probably my favorite one it's like a little samurai sword very cool made in Japan Very cool. And then I have tons of actually small ones. This one is made to look like a gun. And it folds out. And then see the trigger is the safety. Like how it goes down. So the lock or whatever. This one's pretty cool. Uh, it's a shape of a peanut. It's actually pretty old. Made by some company called Art. I think these might have came in like vending machines. Oh, I forgot about this one. This is also made in Spain. It's like a smaller version of the other one that I had. But yeah, it's like a classical, like, I guess, I want to say dueling sword, like, kind of like French or something. I don't know. Spanish, I guess. I don't know. It's French and Spanish, I guess, were known for, like, their sword duels. I don't know. This is, like, a, I would say, handmade, like, farmer's tool. Looks very homemade to me. But I think it's probably at least 100 years old, I want to say, or close to that. But this actually looks like bone right here. I'm not sure what kind of bone it is, but maybe like horn or something, some kind of horn. But yeah, you can tell it's like real old. It's pretty cool. And then we have this one, but it doesn't work, unfortunately. I wish it did. These are very, I think these are pretty rare in my opinion. It's a like super small switchblade, miniature switchblade. Oh, of course I just dropped it. But it, the button does work to open it, but it doesn't like swing open or nothing. It's just slow. I actually got this from a, uh, a guy in England. I actually ordered it from a person who lived in England. It's like real small little, I guess, butcher's knife. I'm not sure what you even... I don't know. It's got little, little initials on it. WPW. I don't know. Like I said, I got it in from some guy in Great Britain. They're real small. little guy he's got really cool colors on him I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but back in the I don't know 50s 60s I guess they used to make these really cool souvenir knives whenever you like traveled somewhere you would go to those souvenir shops you know on the side of the road and then you would buy one of these little keychain knives and I don't know if I'm saying it right maybe celluloid I'm not sure if that's what this is but 
They used to have these really cool, colorful handles. And here's uh, another one right here. It's real small, too. Like, I don't know. You can see the size. I mean, they're tiny compared to my finger, you know. They're tiny. Um, these, I'm not sure if this is correct, but I call these watch fob knives. Um, I don't know. I think they're watch fob knives, but I'm not 100% sure. It also could just be a lot along the same lines of these, those souvenir knives, but I really refer to these as watch fob knives because they're like fancier, more elegant, and they're like metal, and they have like, um, I don't know. Whatever that's called on the side, where it's like that engraving. But here's another one. It's kind of cool. It's got like a pick on it, I guess, for your teeth. So, but yeah, I don't know. I call them watch fob knives. I don't know where it is, but I used to have this really, really cool square one. Uh, watch fob knife that was actually made out of 10 karat gold. I'm not sure where that is though. But yeah, I've got tons more knives to show you. Um, here's a little boot knife. They used to make these really, really small little boot knives back in the day, like little keychain deals. This one's actually got wood handles on it. I don't know if it's like aftermarket or what, but they're pretty cool. Like, I don't know. They're like grooved wood handles. I don't know if you can see that, but they're actually like grooved. And here's a real small Barlow um, made in Japan. It just says F S F B 51 Japan. I don't know who it's made by or anything. I've never heard of that SFB before. But real small little Barlow there. It's pretty small. And this, it's not really a knife at all, obviously, but it's in my miniatures collection. It's a little miniature Honor harmonica. And it is an actual Honor. Kind of cool little keychain harmonica it goes inside this little box. See, kind of cool. I know it's not knife related, but still thought it was cool. This one is actually probably one of my bigger miniatures, so it's probably not even really a miniature, but it's a baseball knife. Grover Alexander, never heard of him, by the Novelty Knife Co. USA. I don't know. I know these were popular at one time. These, uh, I don't know. Baseball knives, they used to have, like, baseball players, and I think they also used to have, like, pinup girls and different stuff like that. And see, like, this is another one of those souvenir knives. See, it actually says Cape Cod on there. In the place where they got it from so yeah they would just like have these little souvenir knives at like a souvenir shop or a little shop you know on the beach or whatever near the beach this one says wisconsin dells wisconsin so yeah like another little souvenir knife kind of cool This one's pretty cool too. This one, I guess, I don't know if I'm, if this is really right, but um, I don't know. Maybe um, I'm trying to think of the name. Uh, grave, like I don't know. What do they call that? You know how it's like. See, it's like the picture. It's like the same shape as like um, where they put dead people. I don't know. Casket. That's what the name I'm looking for. I'm not sure if that's the term, but it's like got a casket shaped handle on there. 
I'm not sure if that's actually what they call it, but I think so. This one's actually almost like see-through because it's like so old, I guess. I don't know. The cellulite or whatever is almost like see-through on it. It's weird. Can't really see it in the picture probably, but. This one's got a cool blue color to it. It's just got a... Uh, like those mining symbols on it. I don't know what company that is, but it's got those two little mining symbols like across from each other. I like this one. It's got a cool little uh, keychain thingy. One of those ones where you like squish it or whatever, and then it opens. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's got a pretty handle though. Real color, real pretty blue color to it. This one's pretty cool too got a really nice color to it and it's like uh this one is a rich richard sheffield england and this is a three blade i mean it's got to be pretty hard to get three blades on something this small it's got a little camera opener on it a little screwdriver little flathead it's pretty cool i really like the colors on this one too it's got like uh this blue like pearl it's got a shield on there This one's pretty cool though. But yeah, they're all real small. We'll get to the smallest ones that I own in a minute. This one is Colonial Providence. Kind of cool. get the other blade open but there's that one a lot of them look very similar I guess this is called a bowling pin because it's in the shape of like a bowling pin at least I believe that's what it's called and here we're coming up on the smallest ones that I own this real little guy. I mean, the blade doesn't even look like, I don't know, it's like some kind of weird metal. Can't really tell in the picture, but it's weird. This one is strange. The metal is just like real weird, I don't know. It's like not like regular like knife metal or something, it's strange. And here's the smallest one I own. I really don't understand where it came from. It does read in really small print scout knife you can't i'm not going to be able to zoom in on that unfortunately but it says scout knife on there oh wow i just lost it now oh, i found it okay so one side is green and the other side is red it's got a real small little blade right there it even has a little thumb uh thingy which I probably won't be able to show you but yeah it says scout knife on there I don't know if it came in a cracker jack box like a long time ago I really have no idea what this is from if anybody knows I've been wondering for a real long time I've had it for years I've always wondered where it came from um I think that's it I mean I have this one last one but it's not real fancy or anything and it's not old but it's just kind of cool I um, made that lanyard for it which is really cool or my friend did and it's like a really really small little razor blade I've never seen a razor blade knife this small I mean it's real small it's tiny it's like the size of my finger so that's about it alright see you guys next time I hope you guys enjoyed um, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Comment, you know. Alright, see you guys later.